Ghana's RT's Caleb Morpin explains. The election doesn't take place until November 3rd, but already enthusiasm is building. And at this point, a bigger turnout among voters is expected than usual. The United States presents itself as the democratic ideal that all other countries should strive to be like. However, this year, just like every other, barriers that make it difficult for some people to vote are pretty apparent. As angry as we should be about the injustice that the voter suppression that is on display in Georgia, we should be extraordinarily pleased that people are willing to fight back and to make their voices heard despite the challenges they face. Take a look at Georgia, where voting meant standing in a big long line and cries of voter suppression were heard. We made it, y'all. We made it. We've been, it's been an honor to share this almost 11-hour experience with y'all, and we did it. <laughs> vote! Vote! <laughs> Georgia was not the only part of the country to have these problems. Keep in mind that unlike in some countries, the U.S. national election is not a holiday. So people who have to stand in line for hours to vote often have to rush to work afterwards or rush to the polls on the way home before they close. But even those who do stand in line don't really have much confidence that their votes will make a big difference. Seeing as everything is so polarized and divided, this will really help establish what's going to happen for the next four years. In some ways, I would say this is the most important election we've ever had because it's, it's comprehensive. It goes all the way from top to bottom. But Puerto Ricans don't even get a chance to wait in line. The island does not have statehood, so residents of Puerto Rico, even if they are U.S. citizens, don't get to vote in U.S. presidential elections. I'm not going to say the best, but I'm just about the best thing that ever happened to Puerto Rico. You better vote for me, Puerto Rico. You better vote for me. This actually applies to all U.S. territories. Residents of Guam, the Northern Mariana Islands, American Samoa, or the U.S. Virgin Islands have no say in who their president is. Now, the U.S. electoral system does not appear to be set up in order to maximize participation. However, that has never stopped U.S. leaders from lecturing the world as if they have an unblemished record. Caleb Maupin, RT, New York.